Greetings, friends. This is Reverend Mary Biedren, Senior Minister of North Congregational Church, and Wednesday Inspiration for June the 9th, 2021. Last week, I had a technical difficulty. My mic just gave out, and it was just the end of a day that was long. I was getting ready to go out of town, which is why I'm coming to you in a recorded form today, and it seemed as though things kept piling up. And I kept working on things and working on things, and I could feel my shoulders hunching up more and more. And I kept thinking, what next? Now it has to be done. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And then I went in the sanctuary and recorded the service that you heard on June the 6th about giving thanksgiving and praise, about being grateful to God, about letting our hearts open up and widen out. And I came back in my office, and after having my technical difficulties with the other thing, I began to think, this is just a no good, terrible, awful, very bad day. But now I'm over that. And I've decided that I would share with you this on Wednesday, Psalm 150, another song of thanks and praise. The title from the Contemporary English Version is, no, yeah, Contemporary English Version. The title is, The Lord is Good to His People. Shout praises to the Lord. Praise God in His temple. Praise him in heaven, his mighty fortress. Praise God. His deeds are wonderful, too marvelous to describe. Praise God with trumpets and all kinds of harps. Praise him with tambourines and woodwinds. Praise God with cymbals, with clashing cymbals. Let every living creature praise the Lord. Shout praises to the Lord. I talked on Sunday about how praise to God can undo a perfectly good bad mood, as my children used to call it. Because it's hard for us when we let ourselves sink into frustration. It's hard for us when we somehow say, things should not be this way. Every minute of our life is the only minute we have in that moment. And every minute of our life has both good and bad things to offer. And I guess part of the question is, is how are you going to frame it all? As followers of Jesus, we are really asked to frame all things from the perspective of God's love, to offer our praise and our thanks, to lift up our hearts, Sometimes your heart doesn't feel so lifted up. Sometimes you need to think about the things that would cheer you up, that would give you a new outlook. Maybe it's taking a walk around the block and looking at nature. Maybe it's smelling the peonies that you just picked from the backyard. Maybe it's talking to a dear friend. Maybe it's looking at pictures of your friends, your family, your grandkids, anybody. Maybe it's something else. But there is something small you can do, some object of beauty that you could contemplate that will let you then say, thank you, God. And for me, what I have found is when I can bring myself to the point of saying, thank you, God, even when I don't feel very thankful, I find it rising up in me again. The work of the Holy Spirit to bring us back to love, to refocus us like we used to refocus our children. When we get caught in the doom spirals, when we get fed up with all the things that are going on, and we feel as though there are things happening over which we have no choice, God again and again reminds us we have the ability to choose thankfulness and gratefulness and to take that on the road, to go out and help someone else, to go out and do something. Wisdom from my mother and I think many others is if you're feeling bad, go and help someone and you'll feel better. At first, when I was young, I thought it was because, you know, I'm doing a good thing. Yes, yes, yes. But it's really just that discovering how to open your spirit out into the world, how to create space for God to work, how to be God's voice and hands in the present situation. It's just an amazing mood changer. It's an amazing thing. And I think any of you who have gone to Crossroads or done other works of service know that, that your whole day can be transformed. So my wish for you is that you find some items of joy to transform your days. It's not a very complex or long message today. But what I will do is play for you something that I guarantee will make you feel more joyful. It is a, a, an arrangement of the hymn, Joy to the World, played by Pat Butler. And we will put it on right now. We will feel that joy, and then we will pray.
through not just at Christmas, but every day. Let every heart prepare him room. And so now, let us pray. O oh, gracious and ever-loving God, you have come among us in the person of Jesus. You have see sought to redeem the world, to bring us back to yourselves. Like the good shepherd, you go out and gather in your lambs. Gather us in, O oh God. Gather us into your love. Bring us into your care. Show us once again how we can be your people with a full knowledge that no matter whether we believe it or not, you are our God. We pray this day for your world that all the world may know this good news, that love is stronger than even death, that love can overcome hate, that love can overcome so many things. Oh God, help us to live in love, to send love out into the world through the things we do as well as the things we say. Help us when we feel distressed to go forth and help and help others and assist others so that in giving care, we discover how much we are cared for, how much we are loved, so that we may change our frowns into smiles, so that we may find that in any time, in any situation, there is joy. God, there are places in the world that do not have much joy. And so we ask that you be with the poor, the hungry, the homeless, the helpless, those who are filled with grief, those who are sick and wondering if they will ever get well, those people all around the world who do not feel loved, who do not feel that they matter. Oh God, in your love, all persons have worth and value. Show us the ways that we may help, that we, we may comfort, that we may feed, that we may house, that we may show people that your love can move people to better actions, that your love can heal all wounds, that in your love we can discover ourselves. <clears throat> Gracious God, we pray for your church that we may do this work. We pray for your people that we may be faithful. Show us how to comfort one another when we find ourselves sinking into despair. Remind us that all matter of things will be very well if only we will trust in you. And then, when we fall apart, when we fall down, when we fail, O oh God, lift us up, forgive us, set us on the right path, and show us that we can begin over and over and over again because you are a God of compassionate, forgiving love. Spread that love around this earth, O oh God, and spread it on us too, so that we may have faith, so that we may have hope, so we may have love. We pray these things in the name of Jesus, who taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I hope that you will find some joy in the world today. I hope that you will hear heaven and nature singing. I hope you will remember that the joy of Christmas was not meant for Christmas alone, but for our whole lives, for our whole beings, and especially for the times when we need light and life and love to come amongst us. And so I give you all of these things to think about as we are apart from one another, and I will be back with hybrid virtual and in-person worship on June the 13th at 10.30 a.m. here on Facebook Live.